What's up, y'all? This is your boy DJ William J. And you're on a ride with my man, DJ A Train. With A Train, gospel of course. Oh, but- 
to Gospel According to House with DJ A-Train. Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on HouseGrooveRadio.com. You're listening to Gospel According to House with DJ A-Train. Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on HouseGrooveRadio.com. You're listening to...
fire. And I'm ministering to somebody right now. God wants to get your attention. Absolutely. God wants to get your attention. Moses actually took the steps to go look at the bush. And once God seen that, he said, Moses, Moses. He called to him. Mm. God bless you, Tessa. And Moses said, here I am. And he answered. And he answered, saying, here I am. Who am I talking to? Are you guys with me? What? Mm. So many people... They would, they, they would, they would not really listen after this, right? Mm -hmm. So it gets interesting after this, right? Mm -hmm. So after that, mm -hmm. after Moses said, "Here I am," mm -hmm. God said, "Yes, do not come any closer." Mm -hmm. See, it's always instructions mm. when God is speaking to you. That's so good. you have to listen to what God says. That is good, honey. What, what would happen? If Moses would have came closer to the burning bush, Jesus. we probably wouldn't have had no Moses. <laughs> we would have probably been consumed. That's true. You know? That's good. So I really think, and I re especially when God says something, yes. I think deep into it. Yes, you Because do. we serve an infinite God. Mm. We serve an everlasting God. Yes. We're forever learning. Nobody yes. right here on this earth can ever know everything about God. Mm -hmm. Even when we get to heaven, mm -hmm. we're still going to be learning it because he's everlasting. Honey, that is so good. Moses listened to the instruction he listened, that God he said. He listened to the instruction. You see, guys, when I tell you <laughs> what he said. It's in the obedience, like I said in the last live. But yes. Yes, sweetheart. <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to keep my calm. I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm sorry. That is, that's, that's, that's a good nugget. That is so good. Moses, listen. So, God said to Moses, mm -hmm. do not come any closer. Mm -hmm. Then he said. Then God said, take off your sandals. For the place where you are standing is holy ground. Mm. My, my, my. Then he said, I am the God of your father, mm -hmm. the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Mm -hmm. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Listen, if you, if God is talking to you literally, <laughs> and you don't have no reverence, I don't know. I don't know who you are, man. I don't know who you are. But check this out. Notice what God said to him. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm a God of your father. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. So, when God is speaking to you, Destiny, yes, right? Yes, yes. The God that you serve mm -hmm. is the God of Apostle Omar Morton. Yes. My, my, my. Ooh, the Jesus. God that you serve mm -hmm. is the God of Prophetess Makita Lee Morton. Yes. The God that I serve mm -hmm. is the God of, as well, mm -hmm. Apostle Omar Morton, yes. Prophetess Makita Lee yes. Morton. Yes. The God I serve mm -hmm. is the God of Latoya Wright. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Ma. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So God relates to us. Mm -hmm. He looks at us mm -hmm. generational wise. Yes. That is so good. <laughs> Man, because so he wants to bless the generations, Ooh, that, not just you. He doesn't want to. He's talking to. You guys he's this? talking to you through, from generations in that line, Jesus. in that lineage. Jesus. Mm. Yeah, babe. I'm, I'm, I'm not. That is so good. <laughs> my, my, my. When God is talking to you, He's not just talking to you, but He wants to bless your generation. Your generation. So.
tuned to Gospel According to House with DJ Train. Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on HouseGrooveRadio.com.
According to House with DJ A Train. Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on HouseGrooveRadio.com.
You know why I heard to bring the six seal back up? Because it's still happening. The fifth seal, the fifth seal. Because it's still happening. The fifth seal, it's still happening. And the more you don't gain knowledge, and the more you remain in your ignorance, that you're so stupid, that you don't understand that people of color and people of other races and nationality, other than your nationality, can be just as intelligent as you. God is letting it happen in your face right now. And you're complaining about it. Because you don't have no more juice. You don't have no more say so. Now you got Arabs coming in your church. Gaining business. You got Mexicans coming in your church. Or people from El Salvador that are getting business. You got people of color like myself that woke up. And we got business. And we got it. of God in this? When are the people of God going to come to the realization and come together in a unity of the faith like the Bible talks about in this race to government? When? I knew back in the day the church and politics were together and you and there were church folk that had slaves too. And some of you still thinking like that because your ancestors were living like that. And some of the blacks can't stand the whites because they're, and they're holding unforgiveness against you because they're still thinking about that. And if you go to the other nations, it's the same thing and it's division. Die vision. Vision, but it's divided. How can a house divided against itself stand? If we kill everybody, how are we going to maintain? We might as well turn around and shoot and kill ourselves. But these people are crying. Because you killed their ancestors off. And you're still killing them. Remember during the Obama administration, all those black kids that got killed? the police according to the scripture that's still going to be dealt with if you don't give your life and repent and ask for forgiveness to the Lord to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ black on black crime same thing if you don't go back and forgive and, and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and make some changes all hell's going to break loose all of these organizations About the, about the Demiris working for a dollar mm -hmm. and whole day wages with the oil and the wine keep them there pretty much I'm talking about I'm talking about finances but this coming right now a retribution Said in Matthew 24 and what he was talking about in Revelation. 
from the true Hebrew and created a man-made type of Jewish religion with symbols from the devil. Symbols from what? Ostrach. B-A-A-L. Baal. That's the devil. Molech. And they made it kosher and they made it look like it was the true and living God, but it's not. It's the God of Satan. It's the God of this world. That's why it's coming to a new world order during this tribulation period. That's why this is vitally important what I'm teaching on. You have to get this in your spirit. I was wanting to teach on this a long time ago. God said, not yet, son. Not yet. Say nothing. They know everything. Let them talk. Let them talk. But when I speak to you, it's going to be me speaking to you. It's spirit and it's life to the believer. It brings understanding. It will even make a Muslim change his mind about Allah and want to change his life to Jesus Christ. Because all of you always said that we worship a white man's God. Not the way I'm teaching it today, babies. my travel, I saw racism in a different form than America. I seen the Aborigines go through it with the Australians. I seen the Turkish go through it trying to live in Germany. I seen the German Jews go through it trying to live with the Germans. seen it in England with the British against the Pakistanis, the Jamaicans and the people.